This is the visual coding window. Here, you can create both simple and advanced app logic by using pre-built coding blocks which each execute a specific JavaScript function. Your scripts will be built by building a flowchart of the different code blocks which are simply executed in the order you place them. First, you should get to know the coding blocks library shown to the left of the window. All coding blocks are organized into categories to make them easier to find. For example, under audio you'll find coding blocks related to controlling audio functions and under device you will find coding blocks for device related features such as camera access, GPS usage, etc. Let's take a look at what a script might look like that would compare a value entered in an input field with a specific predefined value. For this, we could start by using the compare.if block, which lets us check if two values are equal and then make something different happen after the check depending on if it was successful or not. To add this coding block to your script, we'll drag it into the work area from the library. We start configuring each visual coding block by connecting the previous block to it, so let's click the start node and then click our compare.if block. Once a block is connected, its configuration window is automatically opened. Here you'll configure the coding block with arguments that are required for it to work. As you can see, all the arguments for this coding block are colored green. To the left of the arguments, we see a full list of values available for us to use. To more easily find which values could be set to which arguments, these values are also color coded. To set the coding block's argument named value1 to the value of the text name input field, simply drag the text name value and drop it on the value1 argument. If we'd like to compare the value from the input field with, let's say, the word Akuro, we could assign a static value to the value2 argument. You can accomplish this by double clicking the argument you want to add a static value to or using the add static button. Either way, I'll type in Akuro, hit OK, and then hit OK again to exit the configuration window for this block. On the compare.if coding block, you can see that it has two possible outcomes. Either the coding block will return equal if the values we're comparing are equal, or it can return not equal if they're not. If both of the values are equal, or in our case, someone typed Akuro into an input field, let's say we want to take them to a different page in the app. To do this, we'll need to drag in the page.load block and connecting it with our previous block. Now this block requires us to configure it by setting which page to view. Here you can see the color coding in action again. The page argument is colored purple, and we can see the values on the left that can match with this argument, or our pages, are also purple. We'll just grab a page that we want to load, map it to the page argument, and then click OK. Now you can see how we've started building up our script. This script will start at the start node, then it will use the compare.if coding block to compare a value that a user types in a field with our static value we set, and if the values are equal, it will load a new page in our app. This is the basic concept of visual coding, and all tasks work in the same way. All it takes is learning which coding blocks to use and how to order and configure them. But with some practice, it's actually quite simple and lets you build advanced scripts extremely quickly. To wrap up this tutorial, I'll give you one last bit of information. If you for some reason have made a wrong connection between two blocks, simply hold the shift key and click the block that is the target of the connection or the second block in the chain to remove the connection. Click the block again with the shift key held down and now the block will be completely removed from your script. That's it for this introduction to visual coding, but be sure to watch our other tutorials to get more tips and inspiration for how you can use visual coding in your own projects, or start building your own scripts right now. We'll see you next time.